I'm not sure if you know this, but YouTube's changed the monetization requirements for YouTubers. So while this doesn't impact me, it does impact many of the Dave Ramsey YouTubers. And so if you are interested in supporting the financial YouTube community, then stick around and I will tell you how. And no, I'm not gonna ask for your money. Hey there, hi there, ho oh there. I stole that from Mickey Mouse. I'm Wendy Valencia and on this channel we talk about bailing ourselves out of mountains of debt and we take you along every step of the process. So if that is something that interests you, click that big old red subscribe button down below. So today I wanted to talk to you about the YouTube monetization changes and how that is impacting the Dave Ramsey YouTuber. So recently YouTube started, decided based on some things that happened in the media, decided that they wanted to make YouTube a safer place for people in general and for especially for children, which I am a huge fan of because there was some weird stuff out there on YouTube kids that I did not want my daughter watching. So the first step was to start issuing out channel strikes, which basically punished those people that were kind of in violation of YouTube guidelines. And the community guidelines are set by YouTube, but they're perfectly reasonable in my book. So lots and lots and lots of bigger channels started getting strikes and some even smaller ones got strikes too and it started causing a ruckus, but that was just the beginning. So a couple of weeks ago, YouTube sent out an email and basically stated that if your channel did not have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you were no longer going to be a member of the YouTube Partner Program. So what did that mean? It meant you couldn't get YouTube ad money, which for some people is a huge motivating factor. I don't necessarily agree with that, but it is for some people a big motivating factor. So what does that mean exactly? Well, let's look at it in terms of my stats because those are really the only stats I know. It took me about five months to hit a thousand subscribers. And at the end of those five months, I had about 38,000 views and maybe 143,000 watch time minutes. So even with a thousand subscribers, I would not have been eligible at that point. It actually wasn't until about two and a half months later that I hit the required 240,000. And how did I get to that 240,000 required watch time minutes? 4,000 hours times 60 minutes gives you 240,000 watch time minutes. And I had hit about 50,000 views by that point, more or less, and had made more or less $250 with YouTube revenue. Was I getting a regular paycheck? Nope, not even close. It was like one paycheck every three months. But I was actually starting to make money and that actually felt fantastic. It was nice to actually start seeing revenue come in for all of the time that I was putting forth. Mind you, I was making like 10 cents an hour by that point, but you know, I was still making something, which was awesome. The people who are not yet at this threshold will not be able to earn ad revenue. So the people who are at this threshold at this point, they're gonna be reviewed by YouTube to see if they are meeting the community guidelines. And if they are, the assumption will be that they're gonna continue forward. But nobody really knows what's gonna happen. So how does this actually impact the Dave Ramsey YouTubers? So if you think about it, the bigger Dave Ramsey YouTubers, the ones that are much larger than my channel, they've really all, for the most part, become debt free or they've quit YouTube. So it really is up to the smaller YouTubers to keep you motivated while you're on baby step two. I mean, if you're on baby step three, four, five, and six, great, then you can motivate us. So for those of us looking for motivation in baby step two, we're going to the smaller YouTube channels. We are looking for those people. So this isn't to say that those bigger channels like Kelly or Angie aren't motivating us to live a debt-free lifestyle. They absolutely are. But they've already been through baby step two. They've already suffered the hell that is baby step two. And they're motivating us by showing us 
what life is like on the other side. And that's awesome. But sometimes when you're sitting there in YouTube land and you're surfing the net and looking for stuff, you want to see people that are suffering like you're suffering. You want to see people that are going through the same processes that you're going through. And that's when we need those gazelle intense channels to keep us grounded. So if you are one of those little channels that's affected by this new monetization guidelines, don't give up. I urge you to keep going because soon enough you'll have the ability to monetize. And the good news is that once you cross that threshold, you'll actually probably be pretty close to getting a monthly check. And that's pretty awesome. So for you sitting there watching this, I ask that you go check out some of these little channels, the, the ones down in my description box, the ones that I've been showing on the screen as you've been watching this video. Check them out, watch their videos. They're all members of the community on this channel. Tell them that I send them my love and support and tell them to keep going. There are some pretty amazing channels out there. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.